it looks quite uh, straightforward. What is the function of gelatin? But if you, I if I ask you to list the function of gelatin, I'm sure you will give me the complete list of functions. I'm sure you can do that. But in this case, I will only ask for fun the functions of gelatin marshmallow. I'm not interested about you know on the function of gelatin in other in other products. So here, the function of gelatin in marshmallow would be different from the function of gelatin in ice cream, in an, in an ice cream, or the function of gelatin in, you know, as, as a gelling agent. Uh, when you see a question like this, you, you have to look at what is the product? What is the product here? Okay, Niva. Uh, I want to ask you, what is so special about marshmallow? How is marshmallow? What are the specific specific property of marshmallow? Uh, uh, it's it's uh, like jelly type. Is it jelly type? Uh, you know marshmallow, right, Nisha, Niva? <laughs> yeah, I do. You like marshmallow? No, but I don't like. But I know uh, what is mar marshmallow. Have you eaten marshmallow? Yes. Okay. It's okay if you don't like it so much, but since you know what is marshmallow and you have eaten marshmallow, can you describe what the texture like? Texture, uh, it's like fluffy, chewy, chewy. chewy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and when you when you hold when you hold it. Uh, is it hard? It is soft. It's soft. It, it feels like what? Compare with something. Uh, cake. La, like cake. It's a sponge cake. <laughs> yeah, like sponge cake. That's good. Yeah. So it has a spongy uh, texture, yeah. right? Spongy texture, yeah. Yeah. And, and what actually gives that spongy texture? When you look at the, the internal structure, the microstructure, what actually give that spongy texture? Gelatin, maybe. Uh, no, um, I'm not talking about what did they, what is the ingredient uh, that give that kind of texture. Uh, I I want you to describe what kind of texture when you look at uh, when you look at the, the internal or the inside texture of marshmallow. Uh, let me ask Mastura. Okay, Mastura. Uh, my question is, you know, you know marshmallow, or Mastura. Uh, yes, I know. Uh, have you eaten marshmallow? Uh, yes. <laughs> when, when you look at the internal structure of marshmallow, how do you describe it? How would you describe the internal structure of marshmallow? marshmallow? How, how it looks like? Like sponge. sponge. Uh, yeah, like sponge. Okay. Uh, what actually gives the spongy texture? Uh, air. Air. Can you, can you relate something with air? What, what, what's, what is the term that you want to describe when, when a structure contain air? Foam. 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 Yeah, it has a foamy structure, right? Uh, okay, so what, what, okay, thank you, Mastura. So what, what I'm trying to say here, so I'm trying to guide you and to give you some idea. When you get this kind of questions, first, you want to see what is the product. Then you have to understand what are the characteristics or the properties of the products. Look at the texture, look at the structure, internal stru uh, structure, and what actually give that structure, what actually give that texture. So here you want to relate with the functions of gelatin. In the production of aerated confectionery product, so marshmallow is a type of aerated it contains air confectionery products the most important properties of gelatin here are its ability to produce foam and stabilize foam there are two functions of gelatin here one is the ability of gelatin to produce the foam then because gelatin has viscosity it can stabilize the foam 
in order to produce a foam, because gelatin is a protein, it has a surface active property. Yeah, you learn about the, you know, what is uh, the meaning of surface active, meaning that gelatin can reduce the surface tension. Uh, it can provide, actually, it can reduce the surface tension and therefore it will facilitate, it will facilitate the formation of the foam and therefore to produce the foam. So you can get a lot of, lot of foam to produce, to be, you know, to be produced. Then after the foam is produced, another thing that we need to stabilize the foam so that the foam would not collapse. If the foam collapse, you know, you won't get the foamy structure of the uh, marshmallow. The same thing also when we use gelatin in other products that will, that will require the formation of foam. So there are two things here to produce the foam because of the surface active property of gelatin as a protein and the viscosity of the gelatin to stabilize the foam. This is where you want to elaborate, expand the, your explanation. Okay, so gelatin functionalities in aerated confectionery it will lower the surface tension at the air liquid interface. Remember, when we use the term surface tension, it re refers to air liquid interface and therefore enabling the product to be whip. So whipping is actually a mechanical action to incorporate air into the structure. Whipping is the action, mechanical action, to produce the foam. It will draw the air into the liquid that contain the gelatin. Gelatin will reduce, reduce the surface tension and it will enable the formation of foam to happen easily. Once the foam is formed, we want to stabilize the foam so that it will not collapse, it will not break up, it will not pecah. We don't want the foam to runto. Okay? So we have to stabilize the foam. And this stabilizing effect comes from the viscosity of the gelatin. So here, stabilizing the foam produced through increased viscosity and thus avoiding collapsing. In the next, process, in the next step, the gelatin would set because gelatin is also a gelling agent. So here, uh, gelatin as a stabilizing agent and provide viscosity. Here, in order to set the foam structure, the gelatin would set and form a gel and it will stabilize the structure. So in the production, in the production of uh, marshmallow, we use a medium to high bloom gelatin. Bloom is a measure of the gel strength of gelatin. And there's a standard procedure to measure the bloom strength, uh, which we can, in this case, we can use uh, the texture analyzer equipment to measure the gelatin strength. So uh, the gelatin, the, the good gelatin or the high uh, bloom, bloom gelatin uh, would have a value between 200 to 300, 200 or 300 gram. Yeah? We, we measure in gram force. This is actually the, the force needed or the force required uh, to you know, break the gel. So high bloom means it has high gel strength. Medium bloom means the gelatin has medium gel strength. We don't use bloom to measure the gel strength of agar or to measure the bloom strength of other type of gelling agent. Bloom is only for gelatin. The specific term we use to measure the gel strength of gelatin.